Welcome back to Nick Lange's Comic Corner, Classic Last Known Classics. This episode number 1942 and double shot number 1836. I have two, I have one DC trade, one Marvel trade. Well, the thing with these ones are, it's two guys who are rich, who basically build stuff to fight crime. First up is the one basically who made his day back in the 60s. This is the most recent trade released for him. And, fun fact, there's actually one more tray left to go to collect issues from this run, because this run is set to end really soon with issue 25, and they're relaunching it. What book is it? I am Iron Man! Yep, this is Iron Man, Books of Carvac 3, The Cosmic Iron Man. Collecting issues of Iron Man, I believe this is volume number 6 or 7, I believe it is. Issues 12 to 19. Yeah, simply put, basically in the storyline, we have it where... <clears throat> okay, so... Basically, in here, he takes on more of Carback in here. Now, his space friends don't really hop up to hop, hop, hop up the half of the story arc here. Excuse me. Of course, the story arc is still written by Christopher Chanwell. The cover art is done by the awesome Alex Ross. And the interior artwork is about four or five different artists on here. For issues 12, 14, 17, it's Angel... Uza, Kafu does 13, 14, and 19. Auburn Robbins in issues 15 and 17. 16 is done by L L Luis Alta. And 18 is done by Lynn Medina. So, in these issues, mostly put, we have Iron Man versus some of his, well, you have Iron Man taking on this, well, take on this guy who apparently is working for Canadians. Now, I kind of remember some of the stuff when it came out because it seemed like when I was rereading this, it felt like it was very recent. Well, after like issue like 13, because it felt like it came out not that long ago. So we have Carvac show up, and of course, Iron Man was at his space friends around. And of course, he ends up fighting the controller, Unicorn. And that was just an issue number 12 of this book, of this run. Yep. And then 13, that's when we have the space friends show up. And I think on Carvac's group again. And they also have it where in the storyline where Human Torch is working for Carvac, and then, then of course Human Torch turns is on turned on Carvac, and well, becomes a friend of Iron Man's again. Now I should point out though I believe it was in the Chip Sardesky Invaders book where you had Human Torch basically where his his body was based on an Iron Man suit. My guess is the writer of this one was not a fan of that at all. So you put Jim Ham back in his traditional design where you see him normally as. So then you have Iron Man turn into this. I mean, appearance wise, it looks like frickin' um Alt it looks like Ultimo. But this is just basically the cosmic Iron Man. Yeah, basically Tony going back in time. Have you seen it all on his head? Where he looks like we have sort of an Ant Man callback. Where he comes out with a phone. Yes, the phone. It's a fun stuff here. You have Carvac being told about this. You have Iron Man fighting Carvac in this alternate reality. Like, oh yeah, I become a god. And of course, then we have like this cosmic Iron Man suit. And after a... Then we have them fighting a cosmic steel in this awesome two-page spread. And then something while they're fighting. And of course they're destroying some planets along the way. Then they're confronted by them. We have Death, the Living Tribunal. That's the in-betweener. That's Eternia. Eternia. Um, I don't recognize the yellow ones. I have looked up on here for this one. 
because I want to make sure I get all these names correct. Because there's a lot of names here. Let's see. Here we go. Actors in volume six. So the people in here are. Okay, the blonde hair woman is Mistress Love. She is a character from the pages of Defenders. Matter of fact, they reference Defenders in here. We also have Master Order. Master Order is... So, Mistress Love is that one. That is Master Order. And who are the other ones? Now, Master Order, he may as... I, he made his first appearance in Marvel to an A number two. Uh, but he is a he's a Jim Stalin character. Uh, Lord Chaos. Lord Chaos is the guy in purple. That's who that is. I have looked at his up. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, oh, in case you're curious, though, when did Lord Chaos first show up? Also, Marvel to an A number two. We also have Sire Hate. Uh, Sire Hate is. This woman way in the back. That's Sire Hate. You better thinking, okay, then who is the guy next to the in-betweener? Or the one shrouded in darkness? Okay, the the woman with diamond in her head. Her name is Infinity, and she's a, she made a first appearance page of Quasar. And she's a creation of Stan Lee and John Bushma. Well, kind of, anyways. That's what they credit for some reason. But I think the issue itself is done by somebody else. Yeah, it's kind of weird. In between her, obviously. Uh, the one in purple, that's Oblivion. Now, he, now it's something, though, that the rate of this book basically brought characters who were created by J.M. Demodius and uh, Jim Sterling. Uh, Let me Tribunal is a creation of Stan Lee, so is Eternia. So, they are judged by these people. And then you have, like, a meeting of the Space Friends. Mentions of half page of Spider-Man. You have Iron Man coming down. You think, oh, he's going to attack? No, not really. Then he proceeds to... Does he fight his friends? No, he doesn't. He just basically acts like... And of course, he gets a confrontation with Dr. Doom, people. Uh, plus, love this cover. Uh, I think my friend Edgar used this cover once. But it's a nice close-up Iron Man's face. Mm -hmm. I think, like, 17 was... It says his farewell Space Friends. Was this, like, pretty much the final appearance of the Space Friends? Well, some of them die. But not really. We did apparently a bunch of deaths, but don't worry, they're all perfectly fine. Because they all get resurrected right next issue. Okay, this is something interesting. Now, apparently, the reason why they chose Space Friends were there because they're because mostly the book is, is a, basically a love letter to Jane Demodius. Yeah. And apparently 18 is like the issue where they come back that was the final appearance and then like issue 19 which is the finale for this book here that is the death of Michael Carback yep he dies but this this is just pure fun I love this book it is so awesome I give this book a 10 out of 10 now here's the thing um it was announced that this book is going to end at issue 25. Mm -hmm. Now you might be thinking, why 25? Because that's apparently when the final issue is supposed mm -hmm. to come out, apparently. Yes, and, and get this. The final issue is supposed to be the 650th issue of the entire series of Iron Man. And Kurt Busiek is going to come back to the book for the final issue. Yeah, Kurt Busiek is coming back to the book. 
first of his, I think volume three, he's wrote the book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, first time since he wrote volume three, he's come back to the book, which is interesting because he, he didn't write the next volumes that come afterwards. Oh no, I think last issue he wrote for the book was issue 25 of volume three. I think that was his final issue he wrote. Yes. Yeah. So this actually would be the first Iron Man issue he's wrote in 22 years. Yeah. A might be curious though, like, okay, like, here's here's the strange thing about him. The guy hasn't done that much for Marvel since he wrapped up his run for New Thunderbolts, issue 7. Because right after he finished doing New Thunderbolts, he did Marvel Eyes of the Camera, which came out in 08, like about, oh, like, just three years after that. And he did Age of Heroes, which was 2010, which was like two years after the end of the annual, which also came out the same year as well. He had Defenders from the Vault, that came out the following year. One issue of the previous volume for Thunderbolts, which came out seven years later, he did Marvel's Anointed. It just basically, all that is just a reprint of that one. Then he did Marvel Snapshots, Marvels, King of Black Namor. Uh, his most recent book he worked on, he worked on the the short-lived Marvel's ongoing series, which lasted 12 issues. The last book he did prior to this Iron Man issue is coming out really soon, is, well, he just, he last book he did was Amazing Fantasy 1000. Yes. I'm very much looking forward to getting that final trade. Now, my friend Edgar loves his run. Now, surprisingly, this book... I got this book for about $15, $15 and change off of Amazon. This book, current card price, is $30. $30 for a book that collects eight issues. That's Marvel for you being greedy as possible. All right, next up it is... Batman, Ego, and Other Tales from the late Darwin Cook. I don't remember if I have read this one or not. Now, Darren Cook, he passed away several years ago. Love the guy's artwork. Sad I never got a chance to meet him. And also, uh, one of the artists who worked with him on this book has also since passed away. As a matter of fact, he was actually the most recent comic creator passed away, Tim Sale. At the age of 65, three comic creators in the same year. Like, first it was George Perez, and then it was Neil Adams, and then Tim Sale. Then Tim Sale. Yeah. This book contains the Batman Ego one-shot, a story uh, called Here Be Monsters from Batman Gotham Knights, but it was probably one of the Batman Black White stories. The covers for 4550 of Batman Gotham Adventures. We also have Slane's Big Score, which I have discussed this one already. We also have the, the Monument from Batman Gotham Knights 33, a pinup from Soul Number 5, uh, Date Night from Soul Number 1, and Deja Vu from issue number 5 of Solo. The first book you have in here is, of course, Ego. Yes, Ego. Now, here's the thing about why well, they, they, I, I've got a point that's obvious about these these stories. They focus a lot on Batman and Catwoman. Yes, there's basically a lot of these stories do feature. Uh, the first one's all about Batman. Or deals with various. I like you. Also, gotta love the art style of, of Darwin Cook. Uh, yes, that's Ego Strange for you. Mm-hmm. It's all the whole thing is delving into the mind of Batman, but it's a really damn good story. I love it. Surprisingly, I believe this is actually one of a couple one shots Darwin Cook had worked on. The other course being Slaying Space Score, which is really good, by the way. Yeah, and also he was the one who actually, I believe, he was the first artist I could think of who actually showed Catwoman's rear end on panel, because. No artist before or after him has actually done that. Here Be Monster, this actually was written by Paul Grist. Also, love seeing the classic Batmobile. Uh, Here Be Monsters, I believe this is from a, an issue from Solo. This is from, actually from Here Be Monsters. From, this is a Batman uh, black and white story. It's just Batman taking out a woman who's possessed. And you have the Solo Avenger. You have the uh, big score, which all of this one shot did. Was leading to a backup feature in Tetra Comics, which that led to the ongoing Catwoman series that lasted for about, oh, I think it was about seven years. Mm -hmm. Lasted for. Mm -hmm. 
and at issue number, I think it was like 82. Though it did come back like the following year as part of the Black Snow Rival stuff. Then, okay, next you have the the Monument. Which, this is a story from back on that number 30. This is another one of these, well, black and white stuff. It just basically all about Batman. Just gotta love the Batman black and white stuff. Date Night, this is from Solo. This is basically one of those ones where you have Batman and Catwoman just working together. But that's one thing that he apparently loved doing. You have Deja Vu, which of course he drew this one. Now, the way this one looks, it kind of feels like this is like a Golden Age Batman story uh, told in modern day with no guns, no whatever, but just really good stuff here. But I love the stuff in here. It's really good. I give this one also a 10 out of 10. Yeah, both books, a 10 out of 10. Just two really damn good books. Okay, so that's it for single view. I have no more comic corners to do. I'm gonna, I am going to do, uh, probably going to go ahead and do Great John with Defeated. And then head back to Spy Spy Family. Okay, next video. Bye.